Signal warning preventing a, a global climate chaos will require action on an unprecedented scale. That's according to a landmark report. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report says there's only a dozen years for global warming to be kept to a maximum of 1.5 degrees Celsius. To have at least a 50-50 chance of staying under that cap, the world must become carbon neutral. That's according to the research. Now, even a half degree increase would leave the world at significant risk of sea levels rising, of drought, of extreme weather conditions uh, and of species extinction. Well, uh, for more on this story, I'm joined now by Miles Allen. He's one of the author's landmark, uh, one of the authors of that landmark report. Mr. Allen, thank you very much for joining us on the programme uh, this morning. Uh, now, this new uh, target of 1.5 degrees is at the more ambitious end of the Paris uh, Climate uh, Change Agreement from 2016. Why this revision to 1.5 from potentially 2%, uh, 2 degrees? Well, that decision was made in Paris. They wanted to pursue efforts towards 1.5 degrees. Um, and at the time, we actually had relatively little information, both on what that would mean for, for coral reefs, as you mentioned, or for ecosystems around the world, or for people around the world, forestry, like you're showing now. Um, and we also had little information back then about what it would take to achieve 1.5 degrees. So that's why, as part of the Paris Agreement, I think it was a condition of some countries signing up to the Paris Agreement that they commissioned this report so that we had a detailed view of both what it would take to achieve, to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees, and what it would mean if we didn't. Well, we, we, we know roughly what it means uh, if, if we don't, rising sea levels, species extinction. Uh, but with Trump, uh, for example, promising to pull out of the Paris uh, Climate Agreement and other, other countries around the world potentially poised to do the same thing, how realistic do you think it is that we can try and keep global warming below that 1.5 degrees? Well, the good thing about this process is that it is all countries coming together to agree on a, a level playing field, a, get everybody getting on the same sheet as far as the science is concerned. And all countries present, in, including the United States at this meeting, have been very constructive, very rigorous in their analysis of our report and in, their, in going through line by line our summary to make sure it accurately reflected the findings of the report and that that report accurately reflects the current state of scientific knowledge so all countries are on board with the state of the science. Now, some countries, like the United States, are debating amongst themselves how they're going to respond to the threat of climate change. But this report is not about telling countries what to do. It's about laying out the consequences of their decisions, and then politicians can go away and decide how they're going to act on it.